Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Aspiring Authors Lab. And thank you for joining me today. It's been, you know, one of those days, you know, a busy, busy day, but, you know, I appreciate it, you know, you being here with me. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm Gertrude J. Chapman. I'm the inspirational book coach, and I'm the creator of the Aspiring Authors Lab. Thank you for joining us today, where I teach aspiring authors who are struggling with self-esteem, self-confidence, and self-worth issues, how to cut through the clutter, stop procrastinating, leverage their knowledge, and create an income. You know, that's what it's all about, you know, getting your book out there. And today, we're going to be talking about living your purpose, living your truth, and why that's so important. You know, it's an essential part because it helps your readers to identify with you on a level that really touches their heart. You know, it begins to transform their soul. And that consists of your will, your mind, and your emotions. So, you know, when you're writing, that touches, you know, your readers. It, it touches them um, in a deep way, in a profound way. It changes the way that they do things after they read your book. Um, or even while they're reading your book, you know, they, they're thinking about it because it's really, you know, touching them. The manner, you know, in which they think, all of those things are affected and it strengthens them where they are weak. Thank you for joining me this evening. So as an author, you should never have to apologize for who you are or even be ashamed to express your truth, you know, whatever your truth may be. Whatever it is, never be ashamed of it because your tr the truth, put it this way, will always triumph over a lie. Now, you know, lies, they spread fast. But you know what? Lies hinder. When you're an aspiring writer, when you're a new author, you know, lies, when you're writing lies, in the book, it will hinder. It will hinder, even though they spread faster. But the truth gives power, and it destroys bondages. That's why it's so important to live your truth, express your truth, and never be ashamed of your truth. It, it was just something that's, that happened, you know? You don't live there anymore. It's something that happened. So, and you always hear me talk about, you know, how sometimes people think, you know, they're the only one that's going through. But when you live your truth, when you write your truth, when you express your truth, it gives them hope. It gives your reader hope. So that's why it's important to be truthful with your message as you write your book. Your book should have the power to release freedom in the minds of people who are trapped in assumptions or they're stuck in a space, in other words. They, they stuck there. So, and this, this goes for books that educate, books that, you know, give solutions, um, a book that, you may write that's um, telling someone how to avoid a problem or books of overcoming a struggle or healing or how to's, you know, it's very important. It's very important. Um, the space that a reader is stuck, it can be fear of, of what they assume other people are saying about them, you know, fear of the unknown or, you know, something like that. And that's why it's always, you know, good to write the truth. Don't just, you know, fabricate something just to, to write a book, but, you know, write the truth, write the truth, tell people the truth, because it will get them to a place where they can move forward in, in their walk, wherever, whatever it may be, you know, like I said, these are books that educate, uh, that will educate your audience or, you know, uh, give them solution to avoid a problem or how to get out of that problem or books of overcoming a situation or healing or how to books, you know, and, you know, a, a person wants to, you know, get to the next step, but they simply don't know, you know, how to get to that next step. And by you writing that book, it will help them, you know, navigate to where they need to be. And when we talk about, you know, self-esteem and self-confidence and self-worth issues that many aspiring authors are struggle struggling with, and, you know, that's what I base, you know, this program on, many uh, 
aspiring, aspiring authors, the new authors, they struggle with this, you know, getting their works out there because they think that they're, you know, that they're not going to be able to sell their books or they're not good enough. They're not seeing their self-work. But I want to tell you what that's all about. It's all rooted in fear. And fear is, uh, fear paralyzes people, you know? And that's why many people procrastinate because of fear. Fear of the unknown. So, and I know, I know struggle, you know, these struggles, you know, because I struggled with it uh, many years, many years, I struggled with fear, you know, fear of, you know, not being truthful of who I was, you know, of not liking myself. That, that's basically what it was. I didn't like anything about myself, from my looks, to my skin complexion, to the texture of my hair, to my name, even down to the tone of my voice. I didn't like anything about myself. But once I began to understand who I was, my true identity, you know, I was able to rise in freedom and share my truth with others. Because I understand that others may be, you know, stuck in a, in a space because they're not knowing who they are. Have you ever heard people say this? I got to get away to go find myself. And that's, that's what they mean. I don't know who I am. So I got to find out who I am. Okay. There is... To me, or for me, once I discovered my truth of who I was, there, there was no more hiding and pretending. You know, I let other people know that, hey, you know, here's what I did. And I give them the answers of how to find the results because I understand those things are real. Those struggles are real. So I like to shed light on those things to help people understand you're not the only one that's going through. Here's how I did. Here's what I struggle with, okay? So aspiring authors, don't ever be ashamed of who God created you to be. You are unique and wonderfully made. You are destined for success. You are destined for success. It's time for you to dream again. But not only dream again, but place that dream into action by being intentional and writing your truth, whatever that truth is. You know, like I mentioned, it, it took me years to begin accepting myself for who I was and not pretend to be someone who I was trying to create in my mind because I didn't see myself work. I didn't see that at all. I used to think if, you know, I got this job or that job, I would be happier. You know, it would, it would change things. But you know what? It didn't. It didn't because I wasn't living my truth. I wasn't appreciating myself. But I had to come back to my real purpose of writing and teaching people the things I know to help them solve their problems. That's who I am. And being transparent, you know, telling my truth to give readers hope. You know, sometimes you don't feel like writing those things, but if it's going to give somebody hope, why not? Why not? You know, it was nothing pretty about not being able to pay your bills and, you know, going through depression when I got laid off twice back to back and couldn't find a job, even though I, I had an outstanding resume with education and experience, you know? I told the story of how I only considered writing a hobby before, you know, before all of this had happened. But writing was an instrument that God had for me to give other people hope by teaching them and educating them. You can make it. You, you know, and this is a quote that I wrote a couple of years back and you know, it, it came to mind today when I was putting this, um, this together today. You know, you can explore many things, but sooner or later, you have to do what you were created to do. Sooner or later. So why not? And I know somebody needs to hear this today because you are going through a shifting in your life. And it's okay. Just flow with it. It's, it's okay. You know, 
I pray that what I have shared with you really help you to understand the level you should choose on your writing journey to get to that place where you need to be, you know? And this is writing your truth. Writing your truth. Don't ever be ashamed. You know, I have a book that I wrote called Unapologetically You, A 30-Day Transformation to Winning. And this book explains how to live your truth and how living your truth transforms lives. It's very important, you know? You, you'll learn how to find your true identity and what to do to walk in success. What to do to walk in success. And you know, doing exactly what you need to be doing is walking in success. As I was writing this book, you know, Revelation was jumping off the page, so I know there'll be a part two that will take my readers into a deeper dive. I took down notes, I jotted down notes, and I know I'll get that opportunity to write the second part of that book. But you can purchase this book from my store, my online store, by going to bit.ly forward slash live powerfully. Again, that's bit.ly forward slash live powerfully. So, I really hope that what I have shared to you has brought value to your life. And don't forget, you know, to share this video with your group because you never know who's going through a struggle, who's right there, you know, they're right there and they need to make a decision. So that's why it's always good to share. And I wanna thank you for joining me this evening. I'm Gertrude J. Chapman, inspirational book coach, remember, this is your time, this is your season, this is your turning point. Have a nice rest of the evening.